Hello and welcome to another Science 9 Crash Course. In this final episode of the unit, you're going to learn all about waste production and storage. The acronym NIMBY, which stands for Not In My Backyard, is an expression that summarizes people's growing awareness of the problems that are associated with waste production. When we think about wastes, we typically think about solid wastes, but that's not always the case. There are plenty of wastes that are in the atmosphere and in our water. For example, because of global wind patterns, many of our atmospheric pollutants concentrate themselves at higher latitudes near the North Pole. One such example are chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. CFCs are a man-made chemical that is found in the propellants in aerosol cans or coolants in air conditioners. It was discovered, however, that in 1985, the CFCs were the cause of the destruction of our ozone layer. The ozone layer is a thin layer high up in our atmosphere that protects Earth from ultraviolet radiation. This UV radiation can cause damage to living things on Earth, including causing different types of cancers. Because of this damage to the ozone layer, CFCs were banned worldwide. CFCs, however, are a persistent waste and will remain in the atmosphere for many, many years, and the ozone layer will heal itself in about 50 years. Wastes that we dump in the water can also become problematic. One of these wastes created by humans is called sewage. In order to prevent the buildup of nitrates and phosphates in our aquatic ecosystems, we must treat our sewage before returning it to the waterways. To clean the sewage, it must go through three main stages of sewage treatment. The first stage in sewage treatment is called the primary treatment. This physically separates large solids and suspended sediments by using a grate or a sedimentation tank. The next stage is called secondary treatment. This is a biological treatment because it removes much of the organic matter through bacterial decomposition in an aeration tank. It also removes disease-carrying organisms by chlorinating or exposing them to ultraviolet light. The third and final stage is called tertiary treatment. This is a chemical treatment that removes the harmful nitrates and phosphates from the water. This is typically done by sending the water through a lagoon or marsh which takes up and removes the nitrates and phosphates. Water quality is not only a concern for surface waters, but it is also for groundwater. Groundwater is water that filters down through the soil and fills the spaces between the particles of rock and soil. Some groundwater can even have large enough amounts that it becomes usable by digging a well. These are called aquifers. There are many types of wastes that could affect our groundwater, including hazardous wastes. A hazardous waste is simply any waste that contains substances that are poisonous, corrosive, flammable, or explosive. A lot of these hazardous wastes can be found around your home, including drain cleaners, oven cleaners, paint thinners, and glues. A lot of these hazardous wastes are what we call solvents, which is a substance that can be used to dissolve another substance. These are all poisonous. So what can be done to deal with all this household waste? As a solution to this problem, we have created landfills. The first type of landfill that houses just normal household waste is called a sanitary landfill. At the bottom of a sanitary landfill, you have a liner made out of clay. This stops water and wastes from leaching into the groundwater. Leachate is the liquid that results as wastes decompose and rainwater filters down throughout the landfill. This would be problematic if it were to contaminate the groundwater. Hazardous wastes, however, must be stored in a different type of facility called a secure landfill. A secure landfill, however, has a few more features to ensure that the leachate does not enter the groundwater. It also has a clay liner, but on top of that it also has a plastic liner to ensure the leachate does not seep through. There is also a drainage layer to take the leachate away to be further treated. And finally, there are groundwater monitoring wells to ensure that the groundwater is not contaminated. Landfills, however, are only a temporary solution. As the population of humans increases, we need to find other solutions to deal with our waste. One potential solution to this is called bioremediation. This is the method of using living organisms to break down complex, toxic substances into simpler, non-toxic ones. Or, we could create bioreactors, which are tanks containing bacteria in appropriate conditions for bioremediation to occur quickly. 
perhaps one day we won't have the need for landfills at all. Well, this crash course has now come to an end, so hopefully you will be able to take better care of your environment. Thanks for listening.